Hi, you winners. Welcome back to some more Life is Strange. And last we played, Kate got bullied. We went to go talk to her. We told her to go to the police. We'll see how that goes. I have no idea. Okay. So I don't believe I need to do anything else here. Uh, I mean, I could talk to somebody in here. I could talk to you. I don't want to. Hey, Paige. Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or <laughs> not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. <laughs> Did you talk to him yet? I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Okay. She was nice that time. Um, can I talk to the two of you? I'm gonna talk to Juliet. I wasn't able to talk to her before. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Damn. Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. <laughs> uh, are you sure? What am I asking are you sure to? Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you <laughs> back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thank you. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Aw, I'm glad I talked to her. I did something. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Can I talk to you again or will you not really say anything more? This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I would should show I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everyone, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pat pussed out. If you need any money, let me know, Logan. Oh, about being pregnant. Damn. Let's talk later, Max. Okay. Makeup. Why do you have so much makeup? Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. it that is true. I'm not gonna use their stuff. Okay. Trevor? Who the fuck's Trevor? Trevor is making himself comfortable. Oof, hope they don't get busted. Oh, for having someone over? Okay. Is there anyone else I can talk to? I don't see anyone else's doors open. Okay. This is the most I can do that I can tell. So I guess I'm leaving? Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. Oh, well, that's good. Try my best to help out Kate here. Okay. Or at least have her not be mad at me. Samuel, I didn't get to talk to you last time. I will now. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already commuting with the critters. He's Snow White. <laughs> hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Aww, animals. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay all those cool animals in the forest the squirrels always come in the morning for food I can hear them whisper what animals do you see in the forest I saw a doe don't laugh but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me like it was trying to communicate oh that's your spirit animal nothing weird there except you saw yours could be a sign about your destiny. 
What do I know? <laughs> My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Hmm. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. That sounded super creepy. I really like him. Like, he's a good soul. At least right now. He could be, I don't know. They could twist that around on me. But Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Guess John's playing Castle Crashers. Okay. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you gonna come? I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Okay. Take the food. Are you gonna take the food? No. Okay. I'm gonna let it keep eating it. Um. Your paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Yeah, he do. Hey, bitch. Stop being friends with that bitch. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were Fuck nice you. to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy, too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Kate's Kate video. is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. <sighs> bossy best friends. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. Sick. We've had our talk. Why is she sick? I don't know what I could do different. Rachel owes the money. Pay a bitch. Hmm. Interesting. Private number. This is Nathan. What? Why is everyone getting my phone number? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a polite final warning. Reverse the final and polite. So if he's, if she's not the first student to do this, maybe your fucking son's a crazy ass cock. Just say, I have a lot of feelings about The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? I thought we knew this. Max! Hey, it's Warren. Over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh. Oh. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. <laughs> I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. Mm -hmm. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Chloe Price, just a pirate. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. Uh, uh don't get involved. I don't want Warren. I want to protect Warren. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Uh... 
What is? Sorry, I missed it. I was thinking. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. So wait, I want to know what you said again. Okay. Come on, let's talk Boring. again. What are you doing here? Well, nothing. Wait. Okay. Thank you. By the way, I want to know what oh, you said. Oh yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal super. You're a real everyday. Okay. Even though you left me with Chloe, an old. Okay. But you were glad. Uh, don't get involved. He's dang. Weird fucking wheat. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Okay, now I have to pay attention. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Oh, it doesn't say where. Okay, yeah, sure. Yes, that's exactly what- Well, okay. that was easier than- Cool. Okay. Hopefully I remember to do it or have time because I don't want to let him down. I do not want him getting involved with Nathan more than he has. So, go take the bus. Where am I going? Oh! To go meet with Chloe. Something's gonna happen? David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Shit. This has something to do with Kate. Oh. Or Rachel. Hmm. Sketch. She looks so tiny. Hey, dude. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hey, random people. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Aww. Hey, old guy. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Alright. He's definitely excited. Just gonna go in here. 
a random person there. Chloe! Running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Uh, somebody better. I'm, I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Okay. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. <laughs> Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Random people. Can I talk to random people? Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. <laughs> Dana's room. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Uh, Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. It's true. Hi, hey, Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. Oh my you God. should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's what? room. You're right, the tr Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. You guys are right in front of each other. First, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. My God. What? Okay. Hello. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is an eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Isn't yeah. that Chloe's mom? I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. My god, cock. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. All right. Over now. Can I talk to you? Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Mmm. Mmm, Joyce. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our Mom. mother. Yeah. Chloe. So you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Oh. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh. Mm, who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Uh, Is she a friend of yours? I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. Aww. David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. <laughs> we know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he <laughs> is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have Maybe to he go. tried. 
Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. So the RV is significant, dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. <laughs> okay. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? They are hardcore making fun of Canadians there. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Probably. That's gross. I can't make that go away. That graffiti has been here forever. I'm like glitching out in here. Gross. Mm. Fire walk with me? Okay. There's so much graffiti everywhere. Thank you, redneck poet. Why can't I say anything about Kate? Okay, fine. So I guess we're just gonna sit at the counter. Maybe not. Food counter. Drew, Ooh. want everything. A little bit. Mm, guitar tune. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. My god. Okay. So how do I talk to Joyce? Oh, sit. Well, that's awkward. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. No. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I Try my be. best. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Mm. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. <sighs> I think Chloe understands about him. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Mm -hmm. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? David hit her. We already know that. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. Uh, but Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I will say no excuse to hit her. That's no excuse to hit a girl. Not gonna bring up Kate He's Marsh. He's an adult. 
I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh, bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Menu? One bacon omelet for the young. The only thing that's changed uh. on the menu are the prices. <laughs> the latest app. Graffiti. Bacon is Nerd graffiti. Warren, my I love the delicious Whoa. anticipation of breakfast. Random. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. You will be mine. <laughs> Ew, black coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I, I keep going back time. in time. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. There's not much more I can. Oh. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Stay. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. What kind of dive is this? Legit. So I guess once we're like done with this, Chloe will finally walk in. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. Whoa. I keep going back in time. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. <laughs> Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Oh. <laughs> Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe <laughs> for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get Awkward. one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? My dad would have reamed me out too for... Hey, bitch! I chose that! Now that that's out of the way... She Let's acts talk so... about your superpower. She acts so hard. I don't so have hard. any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Hey, Craven. I don't fucking know. Uh, let's go with glitter. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? No. Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Keys? Damn it. That was the other one I was gonna do. Oh, it's not. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. But now I rewind. Okay, Max. Study every oh, item keys. carefully and don't forget anything. Do I have to remember how much? Oh shit. 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. 86. Out of parking bay. Oh my god, don't make me. 1034. Uh, okay. Six. Ten thirty-four. 
Whoa, it's silent. Shit. What is going on here? Okay, Max. Whoa. I'm hella ready. <sighs> Cigarettes. Oh, all of them. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But uh, what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Cigarettes. I'm oh, I didn't count how many. Cigarettes on you. Yes, shit. you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? I think I realized, yeah, shit. I'm gonna go seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Yes! Cool. Amazing. My Something lucky number. My pockets? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. Bitches, That's stop right. playing Seven Castle Crashers. in Arcadia Bay. Yep. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> that face. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Wow. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Hmm. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. I'm thinking very hard, sorry. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay. Can I talk to you? What the hell? There we go. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Cop drops his gl Trevor. Trevor drops his glass and no 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 no, no. that's not it that's so not it. What happens next? I thought his name was Trevor. Apparently it was Trucker. Shit. The cop gets an emergency alert on his I radio fucked up. and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Hmm. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. <sighs> the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens. It doesn't, because I fucked up. Okay, I'm going to talk to you again, girl. I'm going to predict. Okay. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Okay, then cop gets a radio. I oh, know. Uh, and he answers. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Maybe not. Shit. <sighs> 
Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Shit. Okay, um, yeah, that. The jukebox goes crazy wow. as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. It doesn't. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, let's see. I think it's the partner one. Because I remember him saying something about partner. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Damn it. Your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. What? And then that. What's a cockroach? Fucking A. Okay. I fucked that up. Okay, girl. I'm going to predict. <laughs> Fuck. Four of. We're gonna do. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops. So what happens next? His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Oh. Well, let's just see how this goes down. I didn't know how that. Yeah, okay. Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls There we on. go. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oh. If it's like this, then yeah. Because now it's a cutscene. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a oh my toy, God. Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. No. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Wow. Up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. <laughs> yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. No. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Hmm. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. I wouldn't be excited about that, honestly. Okay, you guys will see her in the next part. So I hope you guys are winning life, and I'll see you there. Keep winning, guys.